Hello everyone, slightly different videos this week. Actually I haven't been able to get out because it's been that bad on the weather. We've had some really bad floods up north. It's not been great around here at all, so we decided staying is the best way around it. So you join me at the minute, sat in the van. Now I've been doing quite a few updates, but the general thing that's been happening just lately, a little bit of an update in the cab, a bit of clean work and some extras. So to give you a quick tour now, as you can see we've got a nice rear view camera now. Which actually works via the uh, the rear view camera, which gives me a bit of a help for uh, reversing, which is quite nice. But it actually sits as a, an entire mirror piece, which is actually quite a nice little feature. Coming down, we've actually got the new stereo, which is now in this little cubby hole, which is all nicely uh, printed out and a little bit of storage. You never have too much of. Uh, general sort of bit of spitting polish across the dashboard, which has been quite required it's been quite grotty really uh, but that's all coming together now still a bit more to do on it I need to take all the vents out and give them a good clean get all that sorted out but I've done a couple of pieces in the workshop um, generally just a bit of uh, additional work on the, the van mechanically so I'll pop those up now and let me know what you think hello everyone quick update a little bit of maintenance on the van, getting it ready for its MOT. Just a few little bits. First one, lower ball joint on the front end. That was very, very worn and knocking and banging quite badly. Can just about make out in there new front brake pads as well. They weren't massively worn, but there was enough to actually uh, warrant doing it, definitely. And if I disappear underneath, all the way to the back. What we've got here, some nice shiny new springs at the back, because both of them are broken, both sides. So they're all nicely done now, all sorted. So a general uh, wander around on the underside hasn't been too bad. Got a few ideas for uh, cable runs as well for the leisure battery, because uh, we have got quite a convenient little sort of cross member there which goes right into the uh, the floor space of the rear deck uh, there's the battery box there with cabling coming out so I can actually just route straight out of there and into the back which is really quite handy so there's a lot of cable running and bits and bobs but just thought I'd give you all a quick update that's what we're up to and uh, from the underside we'll see you again soon and if you're wondering what I did with the boost pipe that had split I have to replace it for a complete new design. It's actually a uh, silicon pipe, so it won't actually suffer from the same problem as the other one did with the split around the uh, the end. So that's all on there now, working lovely. Now one thing we did find is the onboard stereo wasn't particularly great. It kept on cutting out. Apparently it's a common thing with the stock ones in here. It's been in here since 2007, so kind of worn out. So what we've actually done, taken that out, and actually gone for a basic single DIN unit, which looks like that. Nothing special, just playing off SD cards and memory cards and a bit of radio. So I don't want anything too spectacular in there. But, obviously, gaping hole in dashboard, not really the, the finest look. So what I've done, printed out a nice little cubby adapter, which will sit in there, and the radio can sit inside that. So we've actually got a little bit of extra storage, and the radio doesn't look too out of place. I've actually copied the exact shape of the... Uh, existing radio as well so I know it's going to fit properly so little update that's another bit uh, ticked off the list as it were so back in the workshop for a bit more work on the van and this time it's actually doing the shock absorber top mount I'm actually replacing the shock absorbers while we're at it as well main reason being just in this bit here the bearing collapses so you go over bumps it knocks around at the top so it's a fairly straightforward fix, and it's really common on these, so I figured it was well worth doing. The other side as well, it's just starting to go, it's gone a little bit tight, and all the way you can make out the, uh, the back of the bearings actually falling out. So it was time to uh, replace, and there's a nice set of brand new ones ready to go on, so time to get the springs changed over, and we'll have a go, see what it would look like when that's done. There's a quick demonstration of the state of the bearing that was in there. That's the one that's come out and was causing the knocking as we were driving along. And 
and so they started to double shock absorbers. Um, not as bad as I was expecting, but um, this one here, which is the one from the passenger side, which wasn't knocking, it should resist as you push it down. And as you can see, not a lot happens there. That's kind of, um, well, no longer absorbing shocks. So, we're on the driver's side. Yeah, it was actually still all right, but uh, they're both now replaced. And thankfully, all gone well. No problems at all. So there we go, bit of a van update. Let you know what we're doing and why we're doing it. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. But like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you again on the next one.